in what truly will be an unprecedented summer of change at Manchester United. We've had so much going on behind the scenes and now we've got official confirmation of the first exit from the club. And that would be one Paul Pogba. Manchester United have released an official statement, which I will run through in this video. This is going to be my reaction to Paul Pogba leaving Manchester United. And I tell you, it's not the worst kept secret in football. We, we knew it was going to happen. My, 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 my. Will there ever be a bigger sort of what if signing than Paul Pogba? When the Pog, Pog back, everything that happened when he came back to the club, having left the club once on a free transfer, twice we managed to lose Paul Pogba on a free transfer. What could have been? What could have been? We never... There are so many different facets and angles to this Pogba situation. Number one, my immediate reaction, I'll be honest, I'm happy. I'm happy this has happened. I'm happy that Paul Pogba is leaving Manchester United. I wanted us to close the door. Even uh, there, there were some United fans who were talking about the idea. Ah, oh, Sam, you know, Paul Pogba can come back in under Eric Ten Hag and just bury that, park that idea. I was done with it. I was done with the circus around it all. And I was done with Paul Pogba. I've got no doubt that he is a supremely talented footballer. I've also got no doubt. I didn't see that enough at Manchester United in, what was it? When did he come back? 2012, was it? No, it couldn't have been 20, no, 2012 was when he left. 2016, 17, I think it was. I think he left in 2012. It's, it's, it's going to be... I'm glad he's gone. I'm absolutely... I'm not going to say over the moon, but I'm very much happy that Paul Pogba has left. He wasn't going to play part of Eric Ten Hag's new system going forward. And I think from the Paul Pogba situation, I think every United fan has every right to be frustrated with what happened with his playing time. What happened with him? Why didn't we see that Paul Pogba that emerged in the first three months of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's reign? Where were you? Why, why, was it, why were you only there for like three, four months? Why didn't we see that constantly? Why were you winning World Cups with France and then coming back to United and not playing on that level? Of course, part of that was down to Manchester United. So Paul Pogba is not completely guilty in, in his downfall at the club, right? It's part of it, for sure. And United, I don't think that we matched the ambition of signing Paul Pogba in, the, in, in following a plan and following everything we were doing. We know what went on at that time. The club was just yo-yoing between philosophies and managers and signings. And they say that we've got a jigsaw now made of three different puzzles. And that's what Ten Hag's got to sort. And that's exactly what Paul Pogba had to play in. So I've, I'm not going to sit here and point every single finger towards him. But I tell you what, I just didn't see enough from Paul Pogba. And that is just the bottom line and the truth about this whole situation. And that cannot be overlooked, ignored, avoided. I'm just happy it's done. I really am. This is, this is the time, this is the summer where Manchester United have got to move on from this, this sort of shit. This has to stop. We spent a world record fee on Paul Pogba. 89 million. We brought him back to a huge furor. It was like, wow, we've got a player we can build our team around. United are back. Pop is going to be part of it. The frustrations of losing him on a free transfer in 2012. Don't worry, we've got him back. What's happened? Six years later, he's leaving on another free, free transfer. And more frustration. I don't think there will be a, bigger, a, a, a different signing in Manchester United's history. Or coming up now. Next, sorry that will match the level of frustration I think that United fans had, not just with Paul Pogba, but with the whole Paul Pogba situation. Everything that was involved in him from going away on international duty and flirting and, 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 and talking about moving away. I'm just glad. I, 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 I checked out of Paul Pogba being a United player a, a while ago, a good while ago. And I've, I stand by the fact that I did that. I stand by the fact that was the right thing to do. And the fact that he's now leaving goes to show that that was the correct feeling. Just felt a bit disconnected with Paul Pogba for a long time. Like, geez, I felt disconnected with a lot of this United squad for a long, long time. We've now officially got confirmation that he's leaving. And I tell you what, I don't know whether this is a bit of a smart, maybe a little bit of a, a sneaky move by Manchester United. Less than 24 hours after Paul Pogba announces he's going to be releasing a documentary, the Pogmentary, sorry, not a documentary, a Pogmentary, about what, I don't know, him? I don't even know what he's got. Well, it's going to be a pretty crap documentary if it's about his football this season. And we've gone and announced there that he's going to be leaving the club. 
I think we may have taken some of the shine away there. I wonder how Jesse, how angry Jesse Lingard is at this announcement. Whatever. He's like, Why, where's, where's my announcement? But all jokes aside, I want to... Do I want to thank Paul... That's what I mean. This this whole Paul Popper situation just makes you do... just makes you just sigh, shrug your shoulders and go... Well, that was a bit of a waste of money, wasn't it? It was, it was a spectacular signing, a, Galac a Galactico signing brought into a squad which didn't really match up to him. It's true. Paul Popper leaves as probably the, one of the most talented players in this squad. But he leaves and there will be no real difference made to the discernible quality of our starting eleven. And that's all you need to know about Paul Popper. He was a luxury player and we never took advantage of that luxury. We have fleeting moments. You can talk about that second half performance away at City. You can talk about, I remember being away at Craven Cottage when he scored that banger, when he was banging. I think he was literally the most informed player in Europe at that point. But their fleeting memories muddled in six years of frustration, of ifs, of buts, of how do you get the most out of Paul Pogba? Fuck me, how many times was that question asked? And we never got an answer. We never truly managed to maximise and get the most out of that man. If we look, if we were to read through a bit of this statement here, say, look, the club can announce that Paul Pogba will leave Manchester United at the end of June upon the expiration of his contract. He enjoyed a long association with United. And I tell you what, United have definitely given him a send-off here. I'll just keep scrolling through this and keep talking. I think it's like 800 plus words. They've written a little mini essay on Paul Pogba. And I suppose it goes to show the, the was that to show the value that, man, my God, I'm still scrolling. Jeez, how big is this statement? That is one hell of a statement there. My God. But Paul Popper's gone. Happy, man. I'm really happy. And I don't mean that in a sort of, I don't mean that as a massively disrespectful thing for Paul Popper. But it's like that story had been written, man. I've got no doubt that he can probably go elsewhere, probably... I don't know where he's going to go, actually. PSG have spent so much money on Mbappe. Who are they going to get? Real Madrid are signing to a many. Uh, and they they got money for Paul Popper as well. They didn't need Paul Popper as well. I don't know where he goes. Probably back to Juventus. Let's be completely honest. And they will love him for it. But <laughs> don't care. I haven't cared about this situation for a while. That's, that's what I mean. I checked out of this Paul Popper scenario for a good while. And I, ho and I do wish him the absolute best. I do. I, I, I don't leave, it's not leaving like a massively sour, t I mean, he is leaving a sour taste in the mouth because we spent 90 million on him. We wanted to build a team around him, but I'll be honest, we didn't build that team. We didn't. The club was in such a shambles that we were just never able to maximise it. But at the same time, I don't think his attitude was good enough. I don't think his professional, I may, I can maybe not question his professionalism, but I didn't see enough from Paul Pogba at Manchester United. And I don't think any of you did. And it's not about scapegoating. It's not about X, Y, Z. But I suppose when you come with a price tag like that, you come with different expectations. Everybody had them with Paul Popper. And let's be honest, they just weren't met. Apart from moments and memories, as I said, that will overall be sort of glossed over as a, just a what if. As in, how did that manage to go so wrong? And how did Manchester United manage to lose Paul Popper? Not only once, but twice on a free transfer. You want to look at devaluation. How about spending £90 million on a player and they're losing him for free six years later? There won't be a bigger loss ever made in football, I do not think, on a single transfer. Wow. That's Manchester United of old, hopefully, and that can't be Manchester United going forward. But look, Paul Bobber, man, look, good luck to you wherever you go, unless you play in United. That's how I feel about it. How I felt about Pogba for a while. I'm just glad that the club has done it. I'm glad that the club has come out and done the announcement themselves. Get in front of it. Move on. Pogba's gone. Matter's gone. Lingard's gone. Cavani's gone. Grant's gone. This is the summer of change. And there was no place in this team going forward for Paul Pogba. Now, what's your reaction to the Pogba departure? I'm glad it's official now. We can... don't even need to talk about it anymore. Happy days. I was going to do a live video. I cancelled it. But look, you let me know what you think about this in the comments below.